Today we're going to talk about how to find stocks before they break out. And I want to show you exactly how to do this in five minutes or less. Let's get started. If you're trading stocks or maybe even options, one of the questions that I receive all the time is how do you find stocks before they break out? Because that's what we want, right? We want to see a stock that is skyrocketing up. So let me show you how I personally do it. Now, if you have been following me for a while, you already know that I do not trust any of the fundamentals or the news or any newsletters. I rely on my own research and in order to find stocks that are ready to break out and make a nice move, I like to use indicators. So let's jump over to the charts and let me show you exactly what I do. Here we have a chart of Wayfair. Actually, let's go to, to Apple because it seems that everybody is interested in Apple. Apple, interestingly enough, I mean, as you know, over the past few months got hammered here. So it went all the way down and the question is, when is Apple a good buy again? When is it ready to go up to the upside? Now, here's what I like to do. I like to use three indicators to help me whether a stock is more likely to go up, down or sideways. And when I say more likely, that's exactly what I mean, because we never know what a stock will do. We can just put the odds in our favor. Now, I like to use three indicators that I plot right underneath my charts. So one of the indicators is the RSI. And I want to see is the RSI about 50 or not. When the RSI is above 50, this is when it is more likely for the stock to go up. Now, one indicator is good. If one indicator is good, what's better than one indicator? Two indicators. So I also like to look at the stochastics and I want to see that the stochastics are above 50. The last indicator that I like to use is the MACD. And when I'm looking at the MACD, I want to see that the purple line is above the orange line. When all three indicators are showing me these conditions for the first time, this is when a stock is more likely to continue to go up. So let's take a look at Apple here. As you can see right here, probably on January 15th. On January 15th, you will see that the RSI is above 50. You'll see that the stochastics is above 50 and that the MACD, the purple line, is above the orange line, which is its moving average. On this day, the price was at around 153. And this would be the time when Apple is ready to move up. When you see this, you could have bought Apple here, and now it moved up from 153, as you can see, to 170. As long as all these three indicators are true, Apple is more likely to continue to go up. How long? until you see one of the indicators moving the other direction. Meaning when you see the RSI going below 50 or when you see the stochastics going below 50 or when you see that the purple line is going below the orange line, so the MACD it's going below its moving average, this is when it is usually time to sell because the stock is now more likely to just go sideways or might even turn around. We have a minute left. So let me show you another example here, Wayfair. So this is another stock where you see, okay, when exactly was it for the first time that the RSI is above 50? The first time that you see that the stochastics is above 50 and that the MACD is above its moving average, meaning that the purple line is above the orange line. And you see this happened right here. Right here, this means that now the stock is more likely to go up. This is when Wayfair was at $98. As you can see right now, it is at $120.92. So a nice move up of $20 or approximately 20%. Now, how long will Wayfair to continue to go up? As long as these three indicators are true, we should be fine. But as soon as you see that the RSI is going below 50 or stochastics are going below 50 or you see the purple line going below the orange line. This is when you know that the market is now or the stock is more likely to go sideways or even might turn around. There we go. This is how I see or I determine whether a stock is more likely to go up, down or sideways based on indicators. And this is how I find stocks before 
they break out. If you're enjoying this, make sure that you're subscribing to this on Facebook or on YouTube. So hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so that you're getting notified whenever I'm going live. Hope this helps. Comment if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Make sure that you like it and share it with your friends if you found this helpful. Click on like and leave a comment and let me know what you think. And make sure to subscribe to this channel to get new videos automatically.